So, if you're wondering why you always see me walking around with my camera pointed at me, or if you're wondering why I always have my camera with me, period, I'm about to give you the reason why. So, if you see anyone that's walking around with their phone, or walking around with a camera in their hand, they're not being narcissistic, they're not being self-centered, they're not being, uh, I don't know, a douchebag. They're not being that person that you think they are. They're documenting the journey that they're on and telling their story. And that's what I'm using this for. This is a vlog. I want you to know who I am. So I'm gonna take this moment to tell you guys a little bit about me, give you a background story so you can be more interested in what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm from Haynesville, Louisiana. It's a small town in Northeast Louisiana where there's only one elementary school, one middle school, one high school. <laughs> there's only three stoplights, but we pride ourselves on our championship football team. These are my parents. They met in this same small town where they grew up together and they dated all the way through high school and they eventually got married. Then they had me. I was a cute baby. Yeah, I know I was. They also had these two. They're my sisters. They're the voices of the intro. Growing up, I got called Frankenstein, Albert Einstein, and even sometimes some kids even called me, yeah, Inspector Gadget. I was a nerd. I really didn't care. And that all started when my dad showed me how to draw the head of a horse. It was cool. I grew up and I went to Louisiana Tech where I gained a degree in graphic design. Then I moved to good old Dallas so I could work for Bank of America. Then on my pursuit of happiness, I met the woman of my dreams, Chastity Brown. Well, it was Brown then because now it's Williams because after dating so long, we eventually got married. It's the cliche, but she is my rock. She's my main supporter. She's my homie my friend, and definitely my partner. And one of the main reasons why I left corporate America. She's so talented. She's a cosmetologist, esthetician, and she can sing. And to top it off, and she fine. All kinds of fine, yeah. I've been self-employed since December 18th, 2013. I've worked with magazines, I've worked with people like Head Crack, Courtney Kerr, and people like Ponce de Leon. This is not easy. It's not a sprint. It's definitely a marathon. And every day, if I can get one step, that's all I need. And I have to learn and I have to train myself to be happy with that one step. I love the process. I love photography. I love videography. I love everything that goes into the distribution of content. We live in an age now where it's go, 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 but you have the opportunity to share your story with other people. All the sleepless nights, all the cups of coffee will pay off one day, but you still have to make time for friends and having fun. Jarrell, then Corey, I create things with these two guys all the time, Aaron and Christian, Brent, and I still make immense time for my wife. I love this girl. Top of that, I still got to make time to try to make it home to Haynesville to visit with my immediate family because I don't get to see them all the time. I may live in the big city, but that doesn't mean that the small town guy isn't still living on the inside. So that's me, that's my story, that's my life up until this point. But what I want you to do is click the subscribe button or if you're on Facebook or wherever you're seeing this video, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel so you can see me and so you can see my wife and watch us on our journey of becoming, who knows, millionaires, billionaires, gazillionaires. Who knows?